I'm Aiden, technical evangelist for Losan. Losan is an IoT software company based in Cincinnati, Ohio. Enterprises can leverage Losan's application enablement platform to pull data from a variety of sources and sensor modalities to provide deep insight into their applications. One of the more frequent use cases for IoT is on smart environment. And today I'm gonna to take you through a demonstration on how you can leverage Losan's capability to provide deep insight into your campus. Let's get started. The smart environment application of IoT is gonna be of interest to individuals like operations managers, security personnel, facilities management, and maintenance. And one of the key aspects of understanding your environment is understanding how individuals, how people, are moving throughout the campus. So in this case, in this demonstration, we have four individuals that we're representing. We have our green, which represent employees, red, which represents visitors, orange for contractors, and blue for security personnel. Now, obviously on any environment, individuals aren't stagnant. They're not staying in one place throughout the course of the entire day. They're moving around. So how can you leverage IoT and the data being generated by tracking these individuals to better understand movement and access throughout your environment? One great example of this is restricted access uh, to certain areas on your campus. As security personnel, you wanna be aware of exactly when a, an individual who does not have access to an area enters into that restricted area. Here we have an example of a visitor to our environment that has not been granted access to our research lab. If we move our red visitor from the lobby into the research lab, a couple things are gonna happen. First, we're gonna see a visual indication that the lights are flicking on and off. Very obvious indicator to individuals in the surrounding areas that something is wrong. To our security personnel who would be using a LOSAN dashboard, we have an indicator block showing immediately guests are in a restricted area and that action needs to be taken. Not only do we say generally that they're in a restricted area, you can also see the specifics of what area is being accessed. Here with a count of one, our one visitor in our research lab who is not allowed to be there. A big advantage of smart environment using IoT is understanding current utilization of resources in your environment. So as you can see here, we have our various personnel dispersed throughout our environment. And we can see how individual rooms within buildings are being utilized on the campus. So here we have four individuals in the lobby, one in a huddle room, we have one in a conference room on the back building, and we can see not only those individual metrics for how many people are in each room, but we also see an overall distribution of the types of individuals that are on your campus. Now, the way you could use this data is to understand, do I have spaces on my campus that are being used more often than others? Are campus areas on my campus and in my environment not being utilized? And can they be allocated elsewhere? Can I change that into something else? I think looking at the historical occupancy data that we're able to track using time series data from, our, from tracking our individuals allows you to gain those insights on what type of investments I can make as an operations leader, as a facilities manager, into better expanding the capability of my environment. Facility managers and operation leads are not only going to be concerned about individuals and people moving around your campus. You're also gonna be concerned about environmental controls, lighting, and even trash disposal. So how can smart environment and the smart environment enabled by IoT help you in those situations? Take for example, our HVAC system on top of our building here. If this HVAC system were to fail, which I'm just gonna simulate by flipping this switch, very quickly get an indicator on our dashboard that our HVAC system has failed in building one, we need to take action. This allows you to avoid any delays on rectifying the situation and fixing your equipment, um, while also in case of HVAC, keeping your personnel within the building cool and comfortable. Security is gonna be concerned about on-campus lighting, especially overnight, especially in outdoor areas. So what happens if you have one of your security floodlights fail overnight? You wanna be alerted of that. Again, just like with the HVAC, let's simulate what a floodlight failure looks like. Similarly, as we saw with the HVAC fan failures, 
We're also using our indicator blocks in our dashboards to indicate that a bulb has burned out on our floodlight and that maintenance should take action to, to fix that. Finally, a big thing for any manager ma uh, managing a campus is going to be on cleanliness, hygiene, and overall appearance. A big aspect of that is trash disposal and removal. Our smart dumpster here is enabled with not only an indicator of when the trash is full, but also when the lid is open or closed. In this case right now, our lid is closed, keeping out any vermin um, and making sure that our trash disposal is safe for our maintenance workers, but it's also indicating that my dumpster is full. So now, instead of maintenance individuals patrolling the campus looking for trash to remove, they know exactly which dumpster at what time needs to be uh, handled. So if I simply remove my trash from our dumpster and reclose my lid, I have two green indications alerting me that not only is my lid is closed, but that dumpster is empty and ready for the next round of trash. Now, we've talked about personnel, we've talked about facilities management, but what about the other assets on your campus that you might want to monitor? Take for example, parking. Understanding how a parking lot or a parking garage is being utilized over time can provide great insight into if you need to expand or decrease parking. In this example, I'm showing that we've currently got two spots taken out of three. I'm at 60%, 66% capacity. If an individual leaves work for the day or takes a lunch break, I'll see that that monitor drops down to one. And now I'm currently at 30% capacity of my parking garage. One of the more modern things that we've seen on, on campus environments is using bikes for employees to quickly and efficiently move around campus. With tracking bikes, we're able to say, are bikes congregating in one specific area of our campus, making them unavailable for other employees, or even have the ability to track theft and have my bicycles actually left my campus. So in this example, I currently have three of my bikes on the backside here and my bike share rack. If I move this away and bring this bike over to the parking lot, employees will be able to monitor how many bikes are at my bike share location closest to my office and in this case, I have two, increasing employee productivity and efficiency and being able to move around campus and know where those bikes are. Today, I've taken you through a couple key examples of a smart environment IoT application on a corporate campus. By leveraging Ulosant, we're able to bring in disparate uh, data sources and sensor modalities into one seamless IoT application. The Ulosant application enablement platform enables enterprise to build customized and reactive IoT applications that are specific to not only their use case, but to their industry. Thank you so much for joining me today on this smart environment demonstration.